Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a roaming profile. Now, a roaming profile is a shared network location where a user's personalized settings are stored. So whenever a user logs into a server via any network station or any PC that is connected to a domain or a network, the desktop would access the user profiles and would load their customized settings and when they when the user logs off of the network or the domain their roaming profile will be updated with any modifications that they made and copied back to the server so the next time that they log on to a computer that is connected to the domain these renewed settings would be saved there so in order to do this, we would go on to our Windows Server and we would click Start Computer. On this, we would go on to C Drive. And in here, we would create a new folder and we will rename it as User Profiles, which is where our user profiles obviously would be saved when we're finished with this we would right click on our folder go to properties we would go to the sharing tab to the top and click share now in the drop down menu here you would see two options find people or everyone this we would select as everyone so it would apply to everyone that logs on to the network you can also enter a user's specific name if you know their logon credential but for this tutorial we would leave it as everyone and we would leave or sorry select read or write which would give them the option to both read any information that they see on their in the on their desktop sorry and they can also make changes to to it and we will when we are finished with that we click share and this is our user profile folder which has been shared to everyone so we click done now on this page we would see a network path now I was supposed to change my computer name of my server which I forgot and I apologize but usually the network part will be forward backslash forward backslash whatever your server name is which is what these bunch of numbers and letters are slash user profiles and this path here we would need to copy it as we are going to use it in a few seconds and we click close now we would go to our active directory select our domain our users and we would go to our user and in our profile tab on the profile path we would paste the network path that we just copied for the roaming folder so by doing this we basically created a roaming profile out of Orlando Bloom's profile. Now we have one 
last as at the end of our profile path we now add one additional item which would be percentage sign username percentage sign and what this does is that it inserts the client's specific log or name to the network path so whoever logs on be it Orlando Bloom or John Doe or Brian Smith it does not matter once it has this user percentage sign username percentage sign it would allocate the specific username to this profile path and as such the user profile whoever logs in would be transformed into a roaming profile so we click apply and we click ok so when you double click and you go to profile again you would see that Orlando Bloom's name has been added okay now in order for us to test whether our roaming profile is working or not we would go to another operating system that has been added to our domain and we would attempt to and to log on sorry as Orlando Bloom so we have our Windows 7 operating system which is already added to our domain so we would attempt to log on as our user and we see that we have successfully logged on to another operating system which is added on our domain as our user Orlando Bloom now we can make changes onto our desktop to see whether it would work in on another operating system and we can probably change the background we would log off now remember we must log off in order for the changes to be made or applied and now we're going to log on to another operating system to see whether the changes have been applied there now we have our Windows Vista operating system which has been added to our domain so now we are going to attempt to log on using our Orlando Bloom account to see whether the changes has been applied here as well. So enter our password credentials. Enter. And we see that our desktop background has been changed as we did in our Windows 7 operating system as well as our text document testing whether this would work has been created and saved here as well now we can also test to see whether the changes any changes we make here would be applied back to our Windows 7 operating system so we can just enter a little message saying thing really works 
Congrats. And we would save this. And we can also change our desktop background to another color and see if this would apply as well. And like I said previously, we log off in order for any changes that we have made to be applied. So we go back to our Windows 7 operating system, log on as our user. Our changes have been made and this is how we create a rooming profile.